We've been doing a little mini series about Drupal's Layout Builder. And in this last video of the series, I want to give you just an overview of the kinds of things you can do with Layout Builder, as well as all the additional modules we haven't touched on so far. Hi, my name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. Thanks for joining me today. In this little section of tutorials, we've been talking about Layout Builder. It's in core in Drupal. It's amazing. It's fantastic. Uh, out of the box, not so great. However, as you already know, there are just a ton of additional modules that you can add and configure to make Drupal's Layout Builder work pretty well. Now, my philosophy of Layout Builder is the following. Core plus contributed, plus custom block types. There's a lot of other ways you can go. Now, let me just kind of give a caveat here. This is just my way of doing it. There are, as I said, a bunch of different ways you can configure Layout Builder to make it do what you want. This is my preferred method. In fact, I taught this session at Florida's Drupal Camp a few weeks ago, and that was a bit of the discussion. You know, there is no perfect layout builder scenario. It's what works for you. And this is what works for me. I'm over here at the documentation site for layout builder. And again, here are all of the additional modules. I have not used them all in my setup. Uh, I've used a bunch of them. Again, what gave me the least friction in getting to where I wanted to be? That was kind of my plan. So once you've configured layout builder, what kinds of things can you do? Well, you can do a nice banner with text, a stack card, an image that floats in from the left with some text or an image that floats in from the right with a text. All of the different bootstrap enabled buttons, of course, are easy to do. A card, a full size image banner, a short image banner, a fully responsive video, a video wall. Obviously this is a view. It's got nice background, another view, and there's your simple Google map. Here's a list of the modules, the ones we have touched on and the ones we haven't touched on. Custom formatter, custom section classes, layout builder blocks, bootstrap, modal, reorder, restrictions, save and edit, styles, and of course, layout builder itself. In addition to simple GMAP that gives you that nice big Google map at the bottom and section library. Custom blocks I created for this particular site, basic block, Buttons, cards, heading, image embed, video block, banner, tall banner with text, stack card, video responsive. So can you build really amazing websites with Layout Builder? Yes, you can. Of course, other companies provide other Layout Builders like Aquia Site Studio and Provis from Promet Source. But with a little bit of work, you can really make Layout Builder work for yourself. If this is something you want to dive into more, we again, we have a class on it at OS Training. And we have this demo site. I'll put the link in the screen so you can see the kinds of things that it does. Well, I hope this little series on Layout Builder has at least encouraged you to not just dismiss it outright, but take another look at it to see what it can do for your Drupal websites. I think Layout Builder in core is only going to get better with all of the other contributed modules that you can use to make it fantastic. Well, thanks for joining me today. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name is Rod Martin. We'll see you next time.